He was roughed up by a Nassau County police officer for walking in the street. And it's not the first time this officer has been accused of using excessive force on a teenager. Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne live in Mineola with more on this. Kristen? Well, Diana, this is the second allegation of abuse made against this police officer. Here at police headquarters, they say in this case, the officer did nothing wrong. This is 16-year-old Dante Hodge getting put in handcuffs. On top of him with his knee in Hodge's neck is Nassau County Police Officer Joseph Stasi. Hodge says he was on his way home from Roosevelt High School. He was walking in the street just off the curb with his earphones in listening to music. Before I knew it, I was just getting grabbed by somebody. And and then when I turned around, it just happened to be a police officer. Hodge came to Eyewitness News after seeing our story on Gary Mosley, another Roosevelt teen who alleges Officer Stasi routinely physically assaults him. Where you going? Yeah. Come back here. Yeah. Mosley says Stasi also used excessive force when arresting him back in May for essentially jaywalking. I just want to see justice served where this officer understands that this kind of behavior is not tolerated. Police say in the case involving Hodge, Officer Stasi and his partner yelled at Hodge through a loudspeaker on their cruiser, telling Hodge to get up on the sidewalk. They say Hodge turned and looked at the officers, took out his earphones, and kept walking in the street. The rest of the kids, police say, got back up on the sidewalk. Hodge was charged with obstructing governmental administration and resisting arrest. But a judge recently dismissed all the charges against Hodge, saying there was no reason for Officer Stasi to detain the respondent despite his uncooperative behavior upon the arrival of the officers. But a spokesman for the police department, Deputy Inspector Kenneth Lack, says Officer Stasi's actions were justified. I think clearly the respondent uh, should have complied with the officer and the officer used used uh, appropriate force for the incident that he was uh, presented with. And Internal Affairs did do an investigation into Officer Stasi regarding Dante Hodge, and they found that the officer did nothing wrong. They are currently still reviewing the two cases involving Gary Mosley. In the meantime, Officer Stasi is still on patrol. We're live in Mineola, Long Island. Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.